Now, here's the thing with loans, like it or not, you have to pay them back, usually over a fixed period and that too with interest. And there are different ways you can pay your loans back. Loan amortization, which is what we are going to be talking about in this video, is the process by which you pay off a loan by making regular payments or reductions in your principal. Uh, now, there are various ways you can pay off a loan, but one common way is that you pay an equal amount of money every period. So if you're borrowing some amount of money, which you have to repay, let's say in five years, so you're going to pay the same amount every year, such that the full amount along with interest is paid back to the lender in five years. Now we'll discuss this type of loans in the next video. In this one, we'll discuss the type of loan where a borrower will have to pay a fixed amount of money every period along with some amount of interest. Okay, let's take a look at such a problem. We are supposing that you're borrowing $10,000 from a bank and you need to repay it in five years. You need to write out $2,000 each year from this $10,000 and you need to do that with a 10% interest on your loan balance. Now we need to prepare an amortization schedule for the same. Okay, so um, an amortization schedule is just a table which contains the details of each payment as in the principal and the interest you have to pay in order to completely pay back the loan. Okay, so this is what an amortization schedule looks like. You have your beginning balance over here, which in this case for your one is just going to be $10,000. So beginning balance is just the amount of money you owe your lender in that particular year or the start of that particular year. And you're going to be paying off some interest every year on the beginning loan balance that you have, which in this case is equal to 10%. And obviously you're paying, writing off your principal as well. And in this case, it's given that you have to pay $2,000 every year. So that's going down in principal paid. And then you have your ending balance, which we'll talk about in a minute. The total payment is just equal to the amount of money that you're paying to your lender in that particular year. So that's just equal to the interest plus the principal. Okay, we'll start off with year one. The beginning balance we have, the amount of money that we are borrowing is just $10,000. And we need to pay 10% interest on this loan balance. So 10% of 10,000, that's 0 0.1 into 10,000. Or equal to $1,000 and then you have to pay $2,000 in principal every year. That's going $2,000. So the total payment is just equal to 2,000 plus 1,000, and that's $3,000. And the ending balance becomes the beginning balance minus whatever the principal that you have already paid. So that's 10,000 minus 2,000, which is just equal to $8,000. Now don't make the mistake of subtracting the total payment from the beginning balance because remember interest is what you're paying in addition to paying off the principal so we are going to be subtracting this two thousand dollars every year from our beginning balance and then we are going to pay ten percent interest on whatever our beginning balance is okay let's move on to year two um, so our ending balance becomes our beginning balance um, in year two so we have eight thousand dollars over here again pay ten percent interest on this eight thousand dollars that's just 0.1 into 8,000 or 8,000, uh, 800 dollars, sorry. And principal again, you have to pay off 2,000 dollars. 2,000 plus 800, that's the total payment. That's the total payment and that's 2,800 dollars. And the ending balance becomes 8,000 dollars minus the principal that you're writing off, 2,000 dollars. So that's just equal to 6,000 dollars. Similarly, you have your beginning balance in year three to be equal to 6,000 dollars. Pay 10% interest on this $6,000, so that's $600. Again, pay $2,000 in interest. Add these two up, and the total payment you're making is $2,600. And the ending balance becomes $6,000 minus $2,000. That's just going to be equal to $4,000. Hopefully, you're getting the hang of this now. And maybe try pausing this video and try filling up the rest of the table by yourself. I'm just going to do it for you at once now. Okay, so this is what a final amortization schedule looks like. You can see that in terms of principal, in total, we are paying $10,000, which is exactly the amount of money we owed our lender. So that completes our payment. And then additionally, we have to pay 10% interest every year on the beginning balance. So that amounts to $8,000. So the total payment we are making is equal to $13,000. Now you know what loan amortization is and how you can prepare an amortization schedule 
at least for a fixed amount of money that you're paying every year with some percent of interest that you have to pay on your loan balance hope you got around that and i'll see you in the next one